These two drones are exactly the same except for one important difference. This one has very expensive motors, this one has very cheap motors. And in a minute we're going to do a blind test to see if, firstly, I can tell the difference, secondly, which ones do I prefer. But before we do that, let's jump over to the bench and take a look at exactly which motors we're comparing. Starting out with a quick visual comparison, you can see that these are actually very similar looking and that's because they're the same size, 2306, 1700 kV. And on the Mr. Steel motor you get N52 magnets, you get this low profile nut and on both motors you get the little screw that goes in the bottom instead of a C-clip. That's pretty standard nowadays but it is important because nobody likes messing about with C-clips. The Emax motors, these right here, these have a 16 by 16 mounting pattern, whereas the Mr. Steel ones have a 19 by 19. And if you're wondering why there's no wires on this, that's because I actually ripped them out of this. This is an old stator, but um, the magnet, the um, bell here is brand new. So uh, for the sake of comparison, this will suffice. This is absolutely brand new. This is used, but it's in really good condition. And uh, I mean, that's all you really need to see, just what the windings look like. And if you compare them to the Emax motor, you can actually see quite a difference between those single strand windings and the ones on the Emax. Personally, I think these ones on the Ethics motors look a lot nicer, but in terms of performance, I'm actually not sure. We'll have to find out when we get out to the field. On the Emax motor, I couldn't find out what kind of magnets these are, but I'm going to assume they're very similar. They could be N42, they could be N52, but there's 14 of them and they look very, very similar to the ones in the Mr. Steel motors. What you're going to notice on this side by side is that the shaft is a lot thicker on this right hand motor uh, than it is on this left hand one. So that is a potential weak point where that could bend compared to this one. This one looks a lot stronger, but I won't know about durability until I've run them for a while. Um, and another difference you'll notice is you get a bit of a bigger nut on the Emax motor, not the low profile one. Both of them have got hollow shafts to save weight. And talking of weight, let's talk about the weight difference. This one, 29 grams when it's completely you know, together, and that includes wires, okay? 29 grams with the wires. And the Emax one is 30 grams with the wires. And this is the kind of length of wire that we're talking about here. So it's a big long wire and uh, the, the weight difference is just a gram, just one gram. And now let's talk about the all important difference, the price. This motor here, the Mr. Steel one, costs 23 quid, whereas this one costs nine pounds. So for four motors, the Emax you can get from Banggood for 35 quid, for all four, which is unbelievable compared to the Mr. Steel ones, which are 92 quid for four motors. It's an absolutely massive difference in price. So uh, in fact, I figured it out and it's a 62% diff price difference. These are 62% more expensive than these. Um, so if you wanna save 57 quid on four motors, you can get these. Question is, do they perform as well or similar enough to these? Right, so we're gonna do a blind test and I've thought about everything. Um, I've got a battery on both of these. The difference is the GoPro, but Ash, who's the cameraman at the moment, is gonna just pick one of these, put the GoPro on it and plug it in. I'll have the goggles on so I don't know which one it is. I've set both of these to race band seven, so I won't know uh, it by which channel it is. And then the only other difference is the 3D print. And if I can see that in the corner of my goggles, I've actually sharpied it in black so that I can't tell the difference, but you can't really see it anyway. So. Uh, should be an absolute fair test. Only difference is going to be the motors. So Ash is going to plug one of these in. I'm going to stick the goggles down. Uh, he's got the camera as well, so good luck, Ash. Yeah, let's do it. Let's <laughs> you might have to hand that off to someone. I'm going to just try and swat these damn flies. <laughs> I'm going to arm it, okay? Joking. <laughs> I can actually see him uh, in the camera. Yeah, thanks for that, yeah, bastard. <laughs> right, all right, cool. GoPro's rolling. Yeah, all good? Right, nice, thanks. Okay, so. Ooh. 
So I've been flying the Mr. Steel ones for a while. The Mr. Steel motors that I put on are all brand new. Um, and so are the Emax ones. So uh, they should feel fresh and new, but I really can't tell if these are the Emax or the Mr. Steel motors. I definitely can't feel a 62% price difference. Uh, what can I try? Seems like good power. Come out of the dive. Yeah, decent, decent low end. Is there still a gap through these trees? Yeah. Yeah, I can't tell, but I'm going to say these are the Emax motors. I reckon these are the Emax motors. They feel really good anyway. Um, do you mind just plugging the other one in and I'll fly that and then see if that gives me any more info. Okay, cool. All right, I'm, I'm going to put the goggles down. All right, this is so scientific. I feel like I need a lab coat on. Right, okay. Hmm. All right, I can't really tell any difference. They, they feel like a tiny bit more powerful, maybe. I mean, it's the same, they're both 2306, 1700 kV. Um, I don't know. There's something quite familiar about this. And I, like I say, I've been flying the Mr. Steel ones for a while. Oh, I swear there's something biting me. Ah, this way you do the smoothest flying, right? That's the smoothness test. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I don't know. I reckon. Uh, no, I reckon these might be the Emax motors. They feel maybe like. I don't know. Both feel exactly the same. I think if I had to pick one. Hmm. Yeah, I'm going to say these are the Emax motors. I think I prefer the first one. But there's nothing in it. There's basically nothing in it. So the first ones I'm going to say were Mr. Steel motors. Those was alright? No. 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 First ones were the... So they were the Mr. Steel? Yeah. Second one were the Mr. Steel. <laughs> Interesting. Yeah, there's, a, there's nothing in it, basically. They... Uh, yeah, yeah. Well, there's 57 quid difference. Yeah, there you go then. So, 57 quid. Don't know. I need to wrap it up somehow. <laughs> is, is it worth? The question is, it's probably around longevity, and you know, which are going to be the tougher over time. Yes, yes. Which are going to yes. stay smooth. Yes. That's hard to tell without a longer test. But. Yeah, exactly. I don't know if you could tell by the bizarre leg rubbing, but we were getting bitten to shreds by mosquitoes at that location, so had to make a run for it. Wasn't able to record a proper wrap-up. In a nutshell, I would say the premium motors, the Ethics Stout V2 Mr. Steel motors, they're a touch more responsive, and if money's no object, it's a great motor. But honestly, there's nothing in it. I couldn't tell the difference to the point where in the blind test, I guessed incorrectly. So if you're going to get some of the Emax motors, use the link in the description. It's an affiliate link, um, but I'm a Banggood affiliate now, not affiliated with Emax. Um, so that means I get to pick the products. It's not just the latest, greatest thing that came out that's got sent to me and I'm just giving it a good review just to try and get you to click that link. Um, the way it works is you can buy them all over the world if you use Banggood. I've had great experience with Banggood and um, it supports me a tiny bit. I've been out of work since March due to the global pandemic, so uh, I'm not really making any money off this, but I'm having a go at it. So if you use that link, I'd really appreciate it. it supports me and my family in this channel. If you watch this video all the way to the end, thanks so much. I know some of you just subscribed for the flying and I've got more flying videos coming up soon as well. So uh, look out for more content and see you next time.
Thanks for helping out, guys. You're welcome.